Scientology could be called God. You could call it a religion of religions. Ach so, no, no, no. I take the issues as they are. You know, you take them and we don't change them a yota. We just take them as they are in the ref in the in the OEC six in the book, and we use them. And sometimes there are issues we really don't need anymore because it is really. I mean, for example, when they're talking about telex right now, I'm working on the OEC zero, and they're talking about telex. You know how to deal with the telex. I mean, people today don't know what is a telex. In the meantime, we had fax, and then we had emails, and we have other kinds of uh, possibilities to transfer data. You know, but telex, I think nobody knows anymore. Or there are sometimes issues about how to make mimeo uh, graphs or you know mimeo uh, issues, how to print them, and so. I mean, today we have printers, and we don't have this old. Uh, system how they printed the bulletins then so we don't need that you know and if it's only about that i don't put that on the check sheet okay that makes sense but the only thing is that if hubbard writes something about a telex maybe it's kind of good for someone to read because then they can think oh email or phone call or something like that like it's equivalent yeah, I mean, you can keep those issues, you know. This is not a problem. Some Quite often, I have to keep policy letters in which is written about telex, and so that's fine. I leave that. I don't change that at all. I mean, if, some, if there are some words which are not used today, then we just make a footnote and explain shortly what that was in those years, you know. But uh, maybe make a hint to how it is handled today. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Because it must be a bit tricky. Because um, that's what I noticed with the admin tech that it, it's like it 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 changes so much. Like the, the way technology and modern stuff changes, that it's just like that might be the thing that would cause Scientology problems in the future if people aren't willing to. I mean, you have to change the admin tech. I mean, I think there's no way you can not change it. Well, look, admin tech, this is a word which uh, comprises a lot. When we talk about these things, how to transmit, uh, let me say, a message from A to B, well, today it's much easier, much different, you know. We work with emails, we don't have baskets anymore. Of course, we still have in our org baskets, but the most traffic we have is going via email. And of course, we have that not in the uh, in the stuff from Elon Hub, but it's just not, exi not existing then. But when we talk about admin, then we have a lot to do, you know, how to deal with people, how to educate them, what are lines, what is safety, uh, you know, how, how are certain courses run. Uh, there's many, many, many things about the org board or other things, you know, which have not changed at all and will not change. These are the basics, you know, when you talk about ethics or conditions, that does not change. Even so, we have absolutely different possibilities today with computer and so, but the, the conditions are the conditions. The org board is the org board and how you deal with people and what an exec wants on his line and he doesn't want on his line, you know. That doesn't change at all. Of course, admin. Today we have computer. You make bookkeeping with computer. You, it's much easier, you know. And then you have to deal with taxes and so on. And this is things what you have to adjust to your country and to your local situation. But as I said, many many other things have not changed and will not change. Similar like the tech we have. There are some basics. Mm. Uh, and, it, and if someone is a church member and they're listening to this, um, the church has had to change heaps of their admin stuff and put in computers. And I mean, you just you can't run a, a big organization without changing the admin. You can't go off 60s admin, you know. 
Well, I think with these original technique or technology we have from Ron, you can have large organizations. This You don't have to change this admin. And yes, the church changed the admin. And I was not fully in it what all got changed, but a lot of things got changed, which I have to say, this was not wrong. Elron Hubbard, you know, and why should we teach that? I mean, when you have to adjust something for your local uh, area, fine, then you do it. But that does not mean we have to invent new policies or alter the policy letters from Elron Hubbard. This is, this is what I'm really strongly against. Mm. Let me let me talk about the six, you know. We had when I started with that about three years ago or four years ago, I had Henrietta with me, I still have her, she was the supervisor in Russia. And we had to find out what what was the intention of Rome, you know? We had to find out. I mean, I was in a big, big confusion in all those years. I was uh, was listening to this advice and that advice. I was listening to so many, many things. Uh, but finally, I really was confused. What is really the six? And so we said, okay, let's take the OEC six and work from eight to set through it and study it all. And then she asked me, well, what should I take? Should I take the old uh, green volume or the new green volume, you know, the one from 1991? And I said, okay, take both. And then she studied both and she said, with the new one, with the 91 issue, she got in such a confusion. Mm. And when you started the old one, you had a clear line. And finally, I really could condense what was distribution and how Ron really did that. This is, uh, that was what uh, was interesting, you know, because we got so many, many new things into Div 6, which had not been. You know, after all, I started, or I learned that Ron most probably left 1972. There are many, many things, hints, and uh, things what happened, which clearly indicate that. And now let me see, for example, Ron says in a tape, that what you want is actually a person who can read, who is able to read, because when you want to, when you disseminate someone, you will need to have that person in the course room. You know, you want to train him, mm. so he must be able to read. Yeah, and if he can't read, it doesn't matter if it's another language or if he is just not educated at all. You can't use him. You you are not a school to teach him the language or to teach him how to write and read. So that's a basic fact. And the other factor is, of course, he needs to be interested in Scientology and in his case. If he just comes because someone else recommends it or because he gets forced because of his wife or if his um, parents, husband or parents or whatever, you know, we are in big trouble. So this is why he recommends the book. He says, before you do anything else, you know, before anything else, the book comes first. Yeah. Make him read a book. Yeah. And if he does, he cannot read it. And if he's not happy with it, leave him alone. You know. Yeah. That's what he said. So yeah. we need to distribute books, 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 books. Yeah. And here we are exactly on the point where I say L. Ron Hubbard was not around or it, whatever happened. You know, I remember. I have been on staff, I became a staff member in the Church of Scientology in 79. And in this time, the price for a book got risen 10% each month. You know, every month you paid 10% more for the same book. So that means somewhere, I don't remember exactly in what year, but I think it was in 82 or so, a fundamental of sorts was the price was 120 Swiss francs. I mean, today the dollar and the Swiss franc is exactly one. So that means compared to today's currencies, it is $120, one fundamental of sorts, you know. And in those years, a book in this 
uh, size is a price of 20 francs. So how comes that the books are so incredibly expensive, you know? It doesn't make sense at all. And it's certainly not in the intention of Elder and Hubbard to have the prices that high for books because they are a key for an organization to exist because you need to distribute these books and you don't distribute books in dozens. You distribute them in thousands. And if you don't do that in thousands, you will not have an org. He clearly says that. Mm -hmm. So that was one of the most stable data we got out of OEC Zero when we studied that. And that also confirmed then that body routing actually is not from Elrond, from Ron, you know. He's, when you look at the materials, the first time body routing from the street to the org, I think that was from 74 or 75. Before, it was never the case. You never went to the street and were body routing. And I have seen that when you do body routing with people, you get all kinds of people. They are not interested. They are not educated. They speak oh, another language. Yeah, you're right. Because, yeah, because yeah, you're sort of, the person sort of like forcing people into the org and you can just get anyone coming in. Yes. You know, when, when you do so, the only thing what you can do is actually give them an OCA test and then sell him a book and tell him, read that, you know. And then when he thinks, yes, that's good, and he comes again, then you can make a Scientologist out of him. But when you take someone from the street and you put him on the concourse, then you violate that policy where LRH says, book comes first. And he says, don't do that. Don't get a person to the PE course when the person has not read a book or when he doesn't come because of a book. Yeah. Yeah, I noticed that when I first got involved because I, I read a book and, and then I met some other people who hadn't really read Dianetics or something and they were just there because a friend said for them to be there and they'd just come in and try some course or something. And it was like they didn't quite get the point of Scientology or it was like they weren't LRH fans or like, I don't know, it's kind of weird, but I could see how it was like, no, 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 you need to just like read Fundamentals of Thought or, or read a book and then actually cognite that this is good information and that you like LRH and then you'll be able to get along much better, you know? Because they sort of, they go in, they haven't read a book or whatever, they go in and then you sort of see them, I guess, complaining. And maybe it's because they're getting pushed around like a pinball saying, oh, can you do this course or do that? And they're like, they're not, they're not even like, they're not, they, they're not at need of change. It's not like they're there, hey, this is good and I want to improve. It's, it's kind of weird. Yes. Yeah. And then you have, then you have a div six full of people, and when you make an evaluation later, you find out most of the people just disappeared somewhere on the route to the div four, you know, mm. because they are not really interested in Scientology. So we have to approach the correct people in the first place, and yeah. this is a big, big task. Yeah, and, and I've sp I've seen people say that um, people haven't even walked into a Scientology center. But they've read a Dianetics book and they go, and I've seen, I saw one guy read it, one guy um, do a review of it, and he, he goes, so I read Dianetics, I get Scientology now, I understand what Scientology is, even though he hasn't walked into a church, he hasn't done the OT levels or anything, but he gets the actual idea of Scientology just by reading Dianetics. Like he gets it, oh, so it's about self-improvement, you're going in to get audited and, you, and you're trying to achieve this higher state called clear, and it, it, it's no longer a confusion. But when they walk in without really understanding the whole point of Scientology, then they're just sort of like, why am I doing this comm course, or like, why am I doing the PE course, or something like that, and they just get pushed around, and then they just leave. Yes, exactly. And you know, that also gives another wide, vital information or data, datum, which is, not everyone has to do Scientology. You know, I was always very much convinced 
everyone can make can be made to a Scientologist. You just have to find the correct ring, you have to find the correct button, or you have to have to give him a correct course or something, and you can make from every person a Scientologist, which is just not true. You, we have to find those who want to be Scientologists and not those who doesn't want. Yeah. Yeah. And I think with those first those first things where they're reading a book or they're doing an OCA, you have to get them going, oh, this stuff is good. If if they do an OCA, they get the results back and they say that's a shit test, then you, that's going to be hard for them to ever get into Scientology or whatever. Like it's a bad <laughs> it's just like, oh, no. So it's just like whatever systems someone's using, you've got to get them to read a book that's good, that they can understand and that, and that they'll like, or you get them to do an OCA test that'll give them a good result. So I heard the OCA has been screwed, the one they're using in the church. So whatever, you have to get to like the original good OCA, get them to do that test. And I like the Dynetics DVD that the church made. I think that that's good because it sort of gives a good idea. But I think that's real important. It's like, I guess, when people see a trailer for a movie, like a Hollywood movie, if the trailer's shit, then no one's going to go and watch the movie. So you've got to get the trailer good. And that's some of these first things that people do in Scientology. Exactly. That's completely correct, you know. And this is, of course, still some... Uh, a lot of work we have to do in the free zone because we didn't do a lot on that part, you know. We have been not really working on that, you know. That it needs to be done. The other thing what we have done by now is we are in the possession or not, no, I cannot say we are in the possession of the copyrights, but we know the church is not in the possession of the copyrights and we can print the book. And we do that now. I mean, this is what... We do, I, the Ronzo Krenk and I started with that to print the book. I mean, first I put them online on our homepage with my name, and now we are printing them, you know, with my name in it, with the name of the Ronzo Krenk in it. And that's, that's a major step, you know. That's important because when we need to distribute, then we need books. And we need to have them online, so we need to have them in hard to give it to the people, because people still like to have a book in their hands and read it. It is not all digital. So that's, that's an important step we did in the, just uh, the last two years now. But, um, uh, for example, the evolution of the science, I have now just recently printed 500 copies and we are distributing them. Mm. Yeah. Um, and I know I was, I was mentioning earlier about how the admin tech needs to be changed or something what i mean is you need to read it understand it and then adapt it to modern technology absolutely that's, that's what i mean yeah like you can't you can't just be this insane literal ksw person where you read it and then you follow it like a nutcase and then like it, it'll just cause problems it was written in, in like the 60s